Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, there is a new pricing page, uh, so I'll go through this with you. Uh, and uh, if you um, uh, become a Bookmap client, uh, then you get access to the uh, advanced educational course, okay? And it also gives you access to the advanced order flow webinars, okay? So uh, through the educational course, uh, you, um, uh, you you can access that uh, any time you like. Uh, it's a four-part uh, series. And then in the live market, we go through uh, the same content and look at uh, uh, or anticipate price movement based on... Uh, uh, the uh, content in that educational course. So you can learn about it in the course and then you can see it in the live market every day at 11 uh, Eastern time, okay? Uh, there's other resources as well. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to us at support at bookmap.com. Okay, so uh, let's go to that website and take a quick look here. Uh, we'll scroll down. There's an intro video here and information just about bookmap in general. Uh, and um, uh, NASDAQ total view, you, you, we also uh, offer connectivity to uh, U.S. equities, all U.S. equities. Uh, and um, uh, here, um, connectivity, uh, you will need a data provider, okay? Bookmap is not a data provider. So um, one of these data providers to connect to the futures markets or, uh, or stocks, okay, with dev experts to the NASDAQ uh, market. Um, which is an excellent data feed, by the way, uh, full depth of market. So um, uh, really, really good stuff. Uh, some of the uh, uh, other data providers like CQG and Rhythmic also provide full depth of market. So this is new. Uh, well, it's been for about six months or more, I guess. Um, uh, new offering. It's uh, fantastic to see, and I'll, I'll demo it for you. Okay, so we're not a data provider. We're a, a software visualization trading platform. Okay. Um, and we're just like a, a Ninja Trader is, or TT X Trader Pro, or Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. However, we do connect to the API of these uh, these three platforms as well. So that's why they're listed here. But we are a platform just like them. All right. So you can connect directly to CQG, Rhythmic, uh, you know, Gain, IQ Feed, and Transact. Uh, Tom, I see your question. Uh, IQ Feed. I do not think that IQ feed is providing full depth of market yet. Uh, I would uh, reach out to them though. That would be the, the way to go. Um, you know, their, their telephone support is excellent. So they'll, they'll answer you right away. Um, but yeah, I, I do not think it, I have not seen it um, uh, on IQ feed yet. Okay. So that's connectivity. All right. Now here are the package, new packages and pricing that uh, I was just talking about. <clears throat> All right, well, first off, there's an um, uh, option here for monthly or yearly. And if you go yearly, you get a 20% discount. Um, you can see the prices change when you uh, switch back and forth. Um, so there's really two different uh, versions here. There's there's digital and there's global. Okay, bookmap digital and, and bookmap global. Okay, so the digital, uh, this connects to uh, the uh, GDAX exchange for uh, cryptocurrencies or digital currencies. Okay. Now, with it, it's completely free. Uh, you can download it now and connect uh, to the li live markets right now. Um, you uh, you get the full full uh, book map uh, without the the um, the add-ons, of course, uh, or the ability to to trade. Uh, but uh, you can you can trade uh, in simulated mode. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, that's uh, what uh, the free version offers you, and you only get access to um, uh, one instrument at a time. So if you want to look at Bitcoin, you can look at Bitcoin. If you want to look at uh, Ethereum, you can look at Ethereum, but only one at a time. Uh, the, um, uh, you only get basic education and you also get limited support. Okay. Now the digital plus, okay. Uh, it's the same as the digital, uh, it's $37 per month, except, uh, you can, uh, you get access to the one click trading. Okay. Um, you also get uh, the record and replay mode, uh, and you can access um, uh, up to 20 instruments, 
that um, uh, GDAX Exchange uh, offers. Okay, you also get uh, the advanced uh, education that I spoke of just earlier, uh, as well as uh, full support. Okay, so any questions uh, or any help that you need. Um, so then there's the global Bookmap Global here. All right, so it's forty nine dollars per month. Okay, and um, uh, includes everything in Digital Plus, uh, and um, but you also get um, uh, uh, support. Uh, to futures markets as well as U.S. equities, all right? So for uh, a few dollars more, uh, you get, um, you know, full full version here for um, uh, equities and, uh, and futures uh, as well as um, the advanced education. Now, the Global Plus uh, is the same as Global except that uh, you included uh, are all of the, uh, the add-ons here, all right? So you get uh, one-click trading. Uh, and these proprietary indicators that we put together uh, to understand uh, and analyze order flow, uh, very specific uh, uh, phenomena in the order flow. So, for example, our large lot tracker, we're looking for larger players okay, that are holding the majority of liquidity in the book. Uh, we have an algo that can identify that. There's some imbalance indicators for the book and for volume. Uh, we have an iceberg detector. Uh, it can see... Uh, when larger players are using iceberg orders. There's a correlation tracker, uh, and of course you get access to the advanced um, uh, education. All right, now if you need a little bit of help understanding all of this and you wanna see a complete features uh, guide, you can click here. Uh, if you're new uh, to futures, um, you can also click here for a free trial of data feed uh, for 14 days. For A lot of them offer 14 days, okay? So you can look into that. Uh, social media, you can follow us here on Twitter, uh, at bookmap underscore pro. Okay, and um, the uh, YouTube page here, uh, I'm going to throw this in here now. Uh, we just made this public, so uh, we have a new video uh, that uh, covers all the features here in um, uh, 7.0. So let's open that up. Okay, let me share this for you. Okay, there you go. So you can watch that. Um, and um, let's close that up. Okay, so you can subscri subscribe to our YouTube page. Uh, any new videos you're going to get alerted about. Um, so uh, uh, this being the new one right now, uh, 7.0 overview. Okay. All right. So let's get into Bookmap and. Um, uh, take a look at some things. Uh, anything in particular you guys want to look at? Uh, I was going to look at uh, maybe um, uh, Bitcoin uh, to start with. Uh, we also look at the NASDAQ. I mean, we can see the uh, 930 sell-off immediately here. So uh, interesting stuff right away. Um, but uh, starting to find some support down here. Now, this is a candlestick chart. I'm just looking at some higher time frames uh, before jumping into book map. Uh, that's, that's all. Um, so... Um, Let's take a look here. Here's Bitcoin. Uh, interesting stuff. Uh, we are down at the almost, yeah, right at uh, 11,000, uh, as you can see down here. Okay, and uh, you can we can see very very high levels of liquidity here. All right, uh, Jesus, you want to take a quick look at the ES? All right, let's take a look here. Yeah, just haven't been covering the ES for quite a while. It, it, I mean, we're getting some movement now, um, for sure. So we can kind of st start start to come come back into the uh, the S and P here. Okay. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Well, let's stick with the S and P. So what are we looking at uh, here in Bookmap? All right. So uh, all sorts of things uh, going on here in the chart. Actually, it's that's uh, really. Uh, uh, not the case. Um, uh, it's it's actually very uh, straightforward data here. Uh, let me explain. So uh, let's get rid of some of these um, uh, indicators to begin with. All right. Okay. In this chart that you're looking at here, there's really only three elements on the chart. Okay. We're looking at historical best bid and offer. Okay, the volume that traded on that historical best bid and offer with all of these uh, volume dots here, okay, that you see. Uh, and then you see this colored heat map. All it is 
uh, is a um, uh, recording uh, of the depth of market. So you can see where they're bidding down here and where they're offering up here, for example. It's just three elements. That's it. Okay, there's nothing more on the chart. So to uh, cover this uh, in a little more depth, let's strip away uh, all of the uh, these three elements. Okay, and just look at a candlestick chart. Okay, here's a five-minute candlestick chart. And uh, uh, we can start to understand, you know, uh, open high, low, and close of a, of a uh, specific uh, time period. In this case, it is five minutes. Uh, and uh, try to read the uh, the price action and the order flow here. Obviously, you know, sell candle, sell pressure. It, it, it opened up here, went up a little bit, and then it dropped, and then it kind of went a little bit higher and closed here. That's what this uh, five-minute candle uh, represents, open, high, low, and close of that period. But the problem with this candlestick here is there's all sorts of things that happened uh, within it that uh, is completely opaque here. Uh, we have no idea, for example, um, where the volume traded, uh, what type of volume, uh, uh, where and exactly when. So, uh, we want access to that kind of information. It offers us insight, a lot of insight, and we're making important financial trading decisions here. We need that insight, okay? Uh, so we, we're looking for that transparency. The first thing we wanna see uh, is microstructure, and we can easily see that by turning on the historical best bid and offer, okay? Just this alone is uh, uh, already quite helpful, okay? So why is that? All right, so uh, the uh, uh, the best offer is this red line, and the green line is the best bid. It's just a recording of it. That's it. Okay. The 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 nice thing here, though, that we're seeing is, and what it is displaying for us is microstructure. Okay. So what do I mean by microstructure? Well, down here, see this little double bottom down here. Okay. We don't see that uh, in the uh, in the candlestick chart. Okay. This is a pattern. All right, this pattern or this this microstructure area here was broken here. Okay, we uh, we're going to see uh, what what occurred down here. We're going to see uh, aggressive buying. Okay, green dots pulling the market up out of this area. And look at this little retest here, right back to where we broke from here, and it continued on up, uh, back to where it broke from up here in this structure. Okay, there's a bigger structure up here. Uh, and we broke down below that. We come back and test to where we broke from here. Uh, and then we get another retest back down to this low. Okay. So uh, understanding these microstructures are, are, uh, are key. And uh, it's completely lacking in this uh, uh, candlestick chart. Uh, the reason being is that this, all the data is aggregated in, in within that five-minute period. Okay, so uh, let's turn on the volume and, and check out uh, exactly uh, where the volume traded uh, and what occurred here. Okay, so we can see that um, uh, this quick move down, uh, well, we see a lot of red dots pulling that market down. Okay, and then in this area here, well, there's a lot of back and forth in a consolidated area, and then we broke out here. Okay, and we see green dots pulling the market up. Okay, these are aggressive uh, buyers. Um, they're hitting the market buy button and pulling the market up. So let's zoom into that area, and I want to show it to you. Okay. So here's what occurred. Um, uh, let's make these dots a little bit bigger. Oops. Okay, hold on a minute here. I'm not not quite getting the uh, setting that I want here. Huh. Okay, I know they've been playing around with this. Um, so uh, important to uh, for me uh, to get this correct. Okay. All right, yeah, because well, this is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for a distinction here, and uh, and Bookmap displays it. Uh, we see that uh, uh, you know there's more selling here, pulling that market down. We see more selling at these lower lows here, for example. 
uh, but this pattern was broken here. I mean, the order flow actually looks pretty good here uh, for continuation to the downside, but we didn't get it, okay? Uh, the, um, uh, you know, buyers started to step in here, and we came back and up and tested the, uh, this is the microstructure element here that I'm talking about, this area of consolidation here. And then look, look how we broke out here, okay? Nothing but buying, okay? Pulling that market up. So what does that look like? All right, so let's zoom in here a little bit closer. This is what it looks like, okay? Uh, this is um, that historical best bid and offer, okay? The red line is the best offer. The green line is the best bid, okay? And then look at all the buying here, okay? Looking at the ES is great because we see all sorts of uh, transactions here. Uh, and um, it's just so heavily traded and there's just so much liquidity. Uh, great, great stuff. Uh, it's nice to always come back to the ES and, and take a look here. Um, okay, so what are these green dots? Okay, these are the aggressive market buy orders. Uh, they they uh, they press the market buy button. They cross the spread. They paid up for it a tick uh, to uh, to get filled on the best offer here, and they took liquidity off of the best offer. Okay, so. Um, like in our educational course, uh, part one, we go through sweeping of the book, okay? It's an important phenomena to understand. It's how the market usually moves uh, from one uh, structure to the next, uh, usually with a pretty significant and quick break uh, and a sweep of the book and all of the liquidity at these price levels, okay? And you'll just see uh, nothing but buying pulling that market up, similar, very similar to this. I mean, there is some selling in here too. Okay, but look at the selling. Okay, look at the, the aggressive market sell button was hit here and transactions occurred here on the best bid. But look at it compared to the, the aggressive buying. Okay, the buyers are in control here. All right, let's zoom into this area here because uh, I want to show you uh, how Bookmap is displaying this information. This is very powerful. Uh, uh, we look at uh, all of the um, uh, transactions here, but we can continue to zoom in here. Okay. And as we continue to zoom in, I'm pulling apart all of that trading activity. And now look here, we're down at uh, microsecond level, okay? And we can continue on and look at nanosecond level here, okay? Just, uh, uh, just uh, and why do I wanna look at nanosecond level? It's just to show you that we're recording at a very, very precise level every single market event that took place here, okay? So we're looking at billions of seconds now down here in the timeline, okay? And we're recording all of that data, every single event very precisely recorded, okay? So this is uh, quite quite a, uh, a powerful tool, but as I zoom out, you know, we're not gonna be consuming data uh, at these billions, millions, or even thousands of seconds, okay? Uh, we, we're gonna be consuming it at a much higher uh, time frame. Right? But as I zoom out, we're compressing that timeline together and we're gonna show this data as a bigger dot. And there it is, okay? So that's the action that just occurred here very, very quickly. Uh, and we can, we can see exactly uh, what uh, 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 constitutes this, uh, this dot here, okay? What it's made up of. If I use this uh, data tip tool, hover over these areas here, uh, we get the, the date, the time, uh, what was on the ask here at this price level and the volume that traded. So this dot uh, is now representing 94 contracts that traded, okay? So that's what occurred, uh, and that's what we're showing here uh, with these two elements, okay, getting back into the bigger picture, the two elements displayed on this chart by Bookmap right now, okay? The historical best bid and offer, okay? And, uh, and then the, uh, uh, the aggressor classification of volume. Okay. Now, where this is going to give you an advantage over, for example, a footprint chart is that you're not going to see a lot of the microstructure, okay, because it's going to be aggregated within a bar. So you're not going to know uh, exactly what occurred here, that we broke out of a microstructure area here, and we come back and retest here, and we don't see any selling at these two little points here, okay? and we rotate higher, and they continue to lift the offer with aggressive buying. Right, so that's uh, what we're looking at here with these two elements. Now let's add that third element and we're gonna take off the candlestick chart and add the heat map. Okay, so what is the heat map? Okay, well the heat map uh, is uh, where they're bidding and offering. 
okay, uh, in, in the market. So let's go to the current market. And uh, I see your question, Tom. I'll, I'll get it, get to it in just a second. Um, and um, the uh, uh, what we're looking at here in the uh, current market in the ES, right, is um, uh, the the dome right here. Okay, so everything to the right of this vertical white line is current market. Okay, I mean we do have some volume columns over here, but the, that's that's for the dome as well. Uh, but this is your best bid and offer currently right here. Okay, and in this this number here is the last traded volume. All right, uh, here's our price ladder, and then here the the COB column here that I'm displaying. Okay, this is the best bid and offer right here. Okay, and then this is depth of uh, uh, liquidity, a depth of market here, our dome uh, on the uh, on the offer, and then here on the bid. Okay, if I zoom in a little bit closer, uh, we can we can take a look at uh, uh, more price levels here. Okay, so hundreds of contracts are here, right? Look at the highest area of liquidity is down here, okay? 723, right? Well, that's represented here uh, in the heat map, okay? And you'll see, like, when these numbers change, you'll see the heat map change color too, okay? If you see high liquidity pop into the book uh, or get pulled, uh, then you'll see that reflected not only in the numeric value, but you'll see it in the heat map. Okay, so that's all we're all we're doing is just um, uh, painting the uh, liquidity in the dome uh, into a heat map. Uh, but the uh, the magic really occurs here when we take that uh, heat map and project it on the chart historically. So now we have a visual representation of the liquidity historically. Okay, so for example, uh, look what occurred here. Okay, we came down into this area of high liquidity here, and they're actually pulling. Okay, so these guys that were, were here on the bid waiting to trade for quite a while, okay, and then when price came down, they said, no, I don't want to trade any longer, and they pulled their high liquidity, okay, and then these guys down in this level here, uh, they actually started to pull too, okay. To me, and I, this one's a little harder to, to judge, I and mean, we can see it all the time uh, in other examples, but uh, it looks to me like this guy probably pulled here and then added down below here, okay? So um, anyway, we'll, we can start to identify the, um, you know, uh, specific players and how they are uh, or what their intent is uh, for trading uh, in the market, okay? So uh, we can start to put this whole auction together, okay? That's uh, what, what really what we're uh, looking at here is the auction, okay? Where they're bidding and offering. So, uh, you know, look at this guy bid up here, pretty aggressive. Uh, you know, price went up and he's bidding at a higher level. Price came back down into this area and then he pulled and then it went away and he got back in, okay? Why would he do that? You know, so maybe he's he's showing intent, but then when price comes down to test him, he, he pulls his liquidity, he doesn't want to trade any longer, but then he jumps right back in. Well, what he's doing or what traders are doing at this price level is um, uh, they're holding their position in, in the queue, okay, in line. And um, uh, so they'll make the decision if they want to, if they think this is a deal or not, right? So they're going to get filled first before others. Uh, if they choose to stay in the book. So anyway, um, all sorts of things to start to uh, comprehend and uh, put together uh, and into the context of really the condition of the market, right? And understanding that context is what uh, Bookmap allows you to do, okay? And uh, understanding that context at higher levels is what we go through in the uh, advanced order flow webinars. All right, so, um, uh, yeah, and uh, tomorrow, if you guys show up tomorrow, um, uh, I'll give you access to uh, uh, tomorrow's uh, uh, advanced uh, webinar. Usually on Friday, we uh, uh, hand out the link to uh, uh, access it, so you can get a, a feel for what we do in those advanced, uh, advanced webinars, okay? All right, Tom, let me get to your question. Um, let's see here. Yeah, Jesus, I'd like to, your feedback on that. I, I think you've been to quite a few uh, of the uh, advanced webinars. Uh, so, uh, uh, what are your thoughts on that? And, and um, you know, uh, would really like to, uh, uh, you know, 
get any kind of insight from you if you if you could. Um, let's see. Can you explain how to adjust the time slices? Uh, say you want to look at three minute candle. Okay, so uh, Tom, this is the way it works. Okay, the time slice tool is up here on the toolbar. The way the time slice um, uh, tool works is uh, from this point here, um, okay, which is the current market, right? This line here, all the way to the uh, end of the chart here. Uh, if I choose a time slice, okay, so let's say five minutes, only five minutes is within my current chart. That's the way it works. Okay, so you can see each vertical dotted line here is, uh, uh, you know, uh, showing um, a separation of 30 seconds. Okay, that's just the way um, when we're showing 30, 30 um, or five minutes, it's dividing up each 30 seconds. Okay, now if I can, if, if you zoom out though, like uh, you can see, uh, I just zoomed out by using my center mouse wheel. Okay, and um, and now there's a minute between each vertical dotted line. So if you want to see three minutes, I don't know if we can display three minutes, but we can certainly display two minutes. Okay, there, there's two minutes. Okay, and let's zoom out a little bit more. I think it goes from two minutes to, to then five minutes. Yeah, it goes, it goes from two to five. So it doesn't do three minutes, all right? However, you can get three minutes up here, uh, you know, in the time slice tool. Uh, so, um, up to you how you want to use it. Uh, I, I kind of like, uh, uh, the view here with, um, uh, uh, you know, the, the dashed lines and I, I just kind of look at it, uh, uh, to get a, get a feel for, um, you know, how much time this, um, uh, represents. Um, yeah, Jesus, you can reach out to me at Bruce, Bruce at bookmap.com. Okay. All right. Uh, let's see. The um, well, that's pretty much it. Uh, all sorts of new features in this uh, Bookmap Seven. Okay, uh, Bitcoin being one of them, um, and uh, uh, you know, very very cheap access to uh, to Bitcoin. Okay, so for that one, actually, you'll be you'll be connected uh, directly. So uh, no need for a, a data feed there. It's offered uh, uh, by default. Okay. All right, guys. Well, let's wrap it up. We'll call it a day, and uh, we will uh, uh, catch up with you tomorrow or uh, see you in the uh, the next webinar in just a minute. Okay. Thanks for coming. Bye-bye.